The body in that casket was a arc. I don't throw no bottles, I throw shots. This is the antagonist check. If you put seven more fingers down, you're definitely the antagonist. I'm sorry, it's gonna go really fast. Put a finger down if you've bullied somebody for any reason. Put a finger down if you're white and so sad. Put a finger down if you're upper class or upper middle class. Put a finger down if you like country music. Put a finger down if you own a Jeep and an extra finger if it's a Wrangler. Put a finger down if there's a Bible verse in your Instagram bio. Put a finger down if you're a boy with a J name or a girl with lay in your name. Put a finger down if you get 500 plus views on your Instagram and Snapchat stories. Put a finger down if you make racially insensitive jokes, gender insensitive jokes, or sexuality insensitive jokes. Put a finger down if you have dirt on somebody and use it against them. Put a finger down if you have a set rivalry. Put a finger down if your significant other fulfills any of these qualities. Put a finger down if you've dyed or cut your hair and put the caption on your Instagram, I did a thing. Put a finger down if you have private stories with names like Cracktivities, Anne Frank's OnlyFans, Titanic Swim Club, 1912, or something like that. Put a finger down if you have white unfilled stars in your Instagram name. Put a finger down if you have a Bass Pro Fizz Shot app. Or, a, or own what Air Force ones. Put a finger down if you're really well known, but nobody likes you. This is the main character check. I'm doing three of these main side and antagonist check. If you put seven or more fingers down, you are the main character, congrats. Put a finger down if you have some kind of trauma. Put a finger down if you have a small and set friend group. Put a finger down if you've had a best friend of two or more years. Put a finger down if you have a diverse music taste that does not include country music. Put a finger down if you have a set love interest and or in a love triangle. Put a finger down if you have some form of privilege. Put a finger down if you're on the verge of a glow up or are living through your glow up. Put a finger down if you do very stereotypical adventure stuff like going on road trips or going out to gas stations at 2 a.m. Put a finger down if you have a very specific type of style. Put a finger down if you're well known but not popular. Put a finger down if you're smart or at least have decent grades. Put a finger down if you have an aesthetic bedroom. Put a finger down if you have a long specific project for your hobby. Put a finger down if you own a journal, photo album, or sketchbook. Put a finger down if you've dyed or cut your own hair. Put a finger down if you don't know or have one of your biological parents dead. Put a finger down if you're, you're the go-to hangout house for your friends. You have to start romanticizing your life. You have to start thinking of yourself as the main character. Because if you don't, life will continue to pass you by. Uh, this bitch. Oh, fuck! Um. You have to start romanticizing your life. You have to start thinking of yourself as the main character. Because if you don't, life will continue to pass you by. And all the little things that make it so beautiful will continue to go unnoticed. So take a second and look around and realize that it's a blessing for you to be here right now. You have to start romanticizing your life. You have to start thinking of yourself as the main character. Because if you don't, life will continue to pass you by. And all the little things that make it so beautiful will continue to go unnoticed. So take a second. Okay, if you have more than four fingers down, you are definitely not the main character, but this one's oddly specific. Put a finger down if you've ever turned your music down at a red light. Put a finger down if you don't live in the Outer Banks, but you pretend like you do. Put a finger down if you ever reposted Jennifer Aniston's picture of her and the Friends cast on your Instagram story. Put a finger down if your private story name is Adventures of your name. Put a finger down if Lele Pons has ever come up on your For You page, aka straight TikTok. Put a finger down if you play basic rap in public to seem cool. Put a finger down if you've individually asked people to vote for you for prom king or queen. Put a finger down if you'd rather tan than swim. Put a finger down if you've never been camping. Put a finger down if you have more than one house. And finally, put a finger down if you have more book smarts than street smarts. You don't have to say you love me. I just want to tell you something. Maybe you've been on my mind. Honey. This is the side character test. If you put down seven or more fingers, you're the side character. I have three of these main side and antagonist. 
Put a finger down if you have a therapist or the friend group or have been told you give really good advice. Put a finger down if you've never been in a relationship. Put a finger down if you know a lot of specific information about a really niche subject. Put a finger down if most of your peop most of the people around you know you for your friends. Put a finger down if you protect people who are getting bullied. Put a finger down if you act weird with no restraint and or care. Put a finger down if you're not the go-to hangout friend. Put a finger down if you don't get invited to parties unless it's through a friend. Put a finger down if you're used as if you've been told you're funny or at least you're the comic relief. Put a finger down if you're a class clown. Put a finger down if you have a stable relationship with your parents. Put a finger down if you're good at baking or bake for others a lot. Put a finger down if you're either violently religious or violently atheist. Put a finger down if you're the president or team captain of anything. Put a finger down if you play an instrument but you can't sing. Put a finger down if when you're at a party people ask you, is that your friend? Put a finger down, main character edition. Put a finger down if Dan and Shay is one of your most listened to artists on Spotify. Put a finger down if you've willingly gone to a Young Life camp. Put a finger down if your visco is in your Instagram bio. Put a finger down if you've never been to therapy. Put a finger down if you've never had a psychiatrist appointment. Put a finger down if you have a good relationship with both of your parents. Put a finger down if you are not mentally ill. Put a finger down if you've ever posted a video of you on your Snapchat or Instagram singing along while playing ukulele. Put another finger down if it was a Billie Eilish song. Put a finger down if you're white and you love listening to Drake. Put a finger down if you posted anything in the past three years saying Mary Chrysler. Put a finger down if you've ever like gotten a haircut or like gotten your hair redyed and then posted I did a thing. Put a finger down if you loved reading of Mice and Men freshman year. Put a finger down if you don't give people the homework. don't worry none of us are the main character this is skins everybody's gonna get an episode just hold tight you're the only friend i need you're the only friend i need you sure it's like little kids and laugh until our ribs get tough If you have more than seven fingers down after this video, then you are not the main character. I am sorry. Put a finger down if you've ever highlighted your hair and then posted on Instagram with the caption, I did a thing or blondes have more fun. Put a finger down if you follow Madia or Nick videos on TikTok. Put a finger down if you've washed after or five feet apart. Put a finger down if your favorite One Direction member was Niall or Liam. Put a finger down if you have stickers on your reusable water bottle. Put a finger down if you made fun of emo or anime kids in middle school. Put a finger down if your favorite food is pizza, and then put another finger down if your favorite kind of pizza is plain or pepperoni. Put a finger down if the only fan fiction you read on Wattpad in middle school was One Direction or Five Sauce. Put a finger down if you like dogs, but not cats. Put a finger down if you've said the n-word and you're not black. Put a finger down if you don't swear. Put a finger down if you've used Yubo. Put a finger down if you've ever captioned a TikTok, if this doesn't go viral, I don't know what will, and it's a dancing video. Put a finger down, token POC edition. If you put down more than five fingers, you're not the main character. You're just the token POC they added for diversity points. Unless you're a never have I ever, then maybe you'll be the main character. Okay, put a finger down if you're mixed. Now put another finger down if you're mixed with white. Put a finger down if you quote, don't have an accent. Put a finger down if you're in AP classes. And put a finger down if you're considered athletic or really good at a sport. Put a finger down if you have a white name, and put a finger down if you don't have a white name, but people call you a white name because it's shorter or easier. Put a finger down if the majority of your friend group is white. Put a finger down if your parents are immigrants. Put a finger down if you've ever shopped at American Eagle. Now put a finger down if you've ever dealt with casual racism or made casual racist remarks about your own race to fit in, and put a finger down if people ship you with someone of your own race. And finally, Put a finger down if people think you're really whitewashed. <laughs> Until our ribs get tough
Would you look at that? It's 1.15. My favorite time of day. It's that time. Oh, you don't know what that time means, do you? Well, my neighbors do. Check it. This is the time that I walk through my neighborhood to remind everyone in my neighborhood that I'm the main character in this neighborhood. It's the main one. Look. Look at my shoes. Look at my socks. Oops. Look at my hair. The way I walk. I touch the ground, Woo. I touch my toes, yeah. I pick a flower and I lay in the road. I went to NYU and I had the best college experience I could have ever asked for. I graduated last May from the Gallatin School of Individualized Study, where I got to build my own degree that combined all of my different interests. It was one of the most challenging, but coolest experiences of my whole life. I got to live in a dorm room with this view, took the most incredible and challenging classes, and got to study for them in this library. I also landed every single one of my dream internships and got my dream job in the city after graduation. I also got to travel so much. I spent my entire sophomore year at NYU London, and I got to travel all over Europe with my friends. I also got the Gallatin Undergraduate Research Fund to go to Seoul and study the skincare market. And my honors cohort got sent to the Dominican Republic to study music. And Alaska and British Columbia to study indigenous art history. I even got to attend the NYU Leadership Initiative in Shanghai to study the impacts of climate change. I had such incredible classes, made the best friends, went to so many cool places. So if you're thinking about NYU, I'd highly recommend. Bitches with a Bible verse and a Trump pen sticker on the back of their white Jeep be saying, I'm the main character. In what, Kelsey? God's not dead, too? You're not Ladybird, you're Jenna. Put a finger down if for as long as you can remember you hated your birth name, so you gave yourself new names based on your hobbies and your interests. And when you were three years old, you looked at your mom and you said, I'm going to be called Lizard now because you love reptiles and you still do. And she said, okay, Brenna, which is your birth name? And you said, it's Lizard. And so it stuck and you got to kindergarten and they were like, we can't call her Lizard, so you had to go by Lizzie. And 18 years later, you're 21 years old, and you still go by Lizzie, but you never got it legally changed. So everyone, when you're filling out documents, is like, your name isn't actually Lizzie. Is your middle name Elizabeth? And you have to explain, no, my name is actually Lizard, and you are the living human embodiment of that one meme that circles Facebook every five months about naming your daughter Lizard. So she has to explain that her name is not actually Elizabeth or Liz, and that it is quite literally Lizard. <laughs> 